It's important for utilities to be able to visualize and evaluate up-to-date data, whether it be cadastral, topographic, image data, or tabular data that comes in a variety of formats. AutoCAD Map 3 d allows engineering professionals to quickly create designs, maps, plans and reports that help better support infrastructure design and maintenance decisions. Using the powerful data connection tools in AutoCAD Map 3 d creating maps has been made much simpler, and styling these maps for visualization or analysis can be just as simple. Here we can see that although all the data needed has been added to the map, the styling of it isn't as intuitive as it could be. Using the Style Editor on the Display Manager, you can change the styles of the GIS data to reflect display standards used in your own organization. You can change the style of the water pipe layer, making the line a little bit thicker, and uh, changing the color to perhaps a more visible darker blue. Next, you can choose another layer, in this case the parcel layer, and use the style editor to change the layer transparency, allowing us to see the aerial photography through it. Other properties such as fill pattern and outline type can also be changed. Point items such as the hydrant layer here can be styled using AutoCAD blocks. Blocks can be imported from existing drawings, allowing you to reuse block definitions that already exist instead of recreating them. So once we've chosen a block to represent our hydrant, we can change things such as the width and the height of the hydrant, and also change the fill color and edge color to make sure that they're visible within our map. It's also possible to apply scale ranges to styles. In this example, we'll leave the hydrant survey points as red X's until we reach a scale of 1 to 2500, upon which we'll apply a theme based on the condition of the hydrant. If we hit the theme button and choose the description column from the properties, we'll be able to see that there are two values, good condition and poor. This is what the theme will reflect. In the same way as before, you can use the wizard to select symbols and their colors. Here, a yellow square with a black outline will represent hydrants in good condition, whilst red squares with black outline will represent hydrants in poor condition. These symbols will be applied when the OK button is clicked. Once the style wizard is closed, we could zoom to an area and see how the survey points change from red X's to themed blocks. It's also possible to save the styling information in a layer file. This is an XML file which holds style information and the connection path to the data. Now the layer file can be used to connect to and theme the data in one step. For example, you can open another map and drag and drop the layer file directly onto the Display Manager from Windows Explorer. It will give us the theme data and the scale ranges without having to generate them all from scratch. This means that you're able to create visually compelling thematic maps in far less time than it would have taken you before. The ability to carry out analysis and querying on spatial data is very important to utility customers. For example, you may need to identify properties which will be affected by scheduled work on a waterline and send out notices that service may be interrupted. AutoCAD Map 3D provides a number of tools which will allow you to make the best decisions as to how repair work is carried out. Once you select pipes or features which will be worked on, you can create a buffer around them. The Create Buffer dialog allows you to specify the buffer units and distance, the name of the buffer, and whether or not you want discrete buffers to be merged together or left as separate features. In this example, we're creating a single merged buffer of 15 meters around each selected pipe. Once the buffer analysis has been completed, the results will be added to the Display Manager, and these can be styled like any normal layer. Here what we'll do is we'll change the style from pink to yellow to make it stand out better against the background. Now you may want to use that buffer to find all of the properties that must be notified of repair work and all of the hydrants that will be audited next. AutoCAD Map 3D allows you to apply the same filter to multiple layers so that you don't have to repeat the process for each layer. In this example, we'll use the buffer as a geographic filter stating that we only want to see the parcels and hydrants which touch the buffer. We can now see that all the hydrants and parcels have been filtered, not deleted, just filtered, and we can open the data table of the parcel layer and export these records to a CSV file. These could then be used in a mail merge to notify customers of upcoming repair work. 
AutoCAD Map 3D's powerful mapping and analysis functionality allows utilities to easily create stylized maps that can highlight specific features in analysis and create designs, plans and reports that can support better infrastructure design and maintenance decisions.